Hello everybody, welcome to a short presentation on the current status and future of the ESA CCI soil moisture project. I will briefly summarize the scientific improvements made to the latest available version, as well as uh, try to give you an idea of what you can expect from the upcoming versions of the product. Well, first of all, for those not yet familiar with the project, ESA CCI Soil Moisture is part of the European Space Agency's Climate Change Initiative program through which it is funded. Uh, the product is a global, long-term, satellite-based, multi-sensor soil moisture data set. There are three separate harmonized data sets produced within the project, uh, active, passive and combined. Uh, those are continuously updated with data from additional sensors and scientific improvements to the soil moisture retrieval algorithm, as well as the subsequent merging scheme. At present, the products have global coverage with a quarter degree spatial and daily temporal resolution, with plans to increase both in near future. Uh, so presently, we are at version 5.2 of the product, which was released to the public in September this year and is as always freely available through our website as well as through ESA's open data portal. Um, the major improvements made in this version were uh, inclusion of SMAP radiometer data for the first time, which led to a substantial increase uh, in the spatial coverage in the latest period, as you can see in the image, but also bias correction of AMSR2 in the passive product um, as well as an implementation of an improved soil moisture retrieval algorithm for all of the passive sensors. Um, and this data set covers a period from 1978 to the end of 2019. Now I'd like to give you a glimpse into what can be expected from the next version of the product, version 6, which is expected to be published in the first quarter of 2021. We are presently working on implementing correction of structural breaks, uh, which occur at sensor changes, uh, bridging the scaling gap between AMSRE and AMSR2 with introduction of data from Fengyun 3B satellite. Um, the passive and combined products will also benefit from a new experimental ASCAT dataset corrected for the wetting trend. Uh, which, as you can see in the graphic in the top right portion of the slide, um, led to an observable improvement in correlation with ERA-5. Um, a new and improved uh, flagging of frozen soils and snow is also underway, as well as further advancements uh, in the intercalibration of passive sensors. Our data sets are thoroughly validated by independent project partners against both in situ and modeled data sets and the validation report is produced for each version of the product. Here we can see plots of the spatial performance of version 5.2 as well as its overall performance in relation to the previous version of the product. Uh, we also utilize uh, QA4SM online validation tool where our data sets are available for free and fully customizable validations our colleague has recorded a very nice walkthrough video uh, on how to register and perform validations with QA4SM. It can be found here at EO4Water as well, so if you're interested, please go check it out. Since the beginning of the project, we have had more than 8,000 users registered through our website, uh, and ESA CCI is continuously providing basis for many peer-reviewed publications every year as well. Uh, each year, uh, the products are also included in the BAMs, uh, as well as the European State of the Climate reports. Uh, ESA CCI Soil Moisture is also available as an operational product in near real time via the Copernicus Climate Change Program. Uh, our product is also a part of a new and exciting cross-ECV project, G3P. Uh, which stands for Global Gravity-Based Groundwater Product and aims to provide an operational groundwater product in the future. Uh, I would like to summarize the future direction of the project, also beyond the, just the next upcoming version. Uh, as already mentioned, uh, 
in the next version of the product, we are working on including data from Fenyung 3B, but also from the GPM microwave imager. And some of the challenges beyond that include model, achieving model independence using SMOS and SMAP as baseline, uh, root zone soil moisture product development by assimilating uh, CCI soil moisture and VOD in a land surface model, uh, preparation for inclusion of the second generation of METOP missions and other sensors, sensors plans to be launched in the future. See the cool animation from ESA here. And also increasing the spatial and temporal resolutions of our products, for example, using Sentinel-1 data. Uh, finally, I'd like to thank and acknowledge ESA and all the project partners and refer everyone interested to our website where you can download the data, find more information about the products and follow our activities. Have a great conference.